The final criticism, now this is a difficult one. Uh, this is Hume's is ought gap. Now, I'm going to try and explain this in the most simple way possible. This is a complex idea, but we'll just apply it to utilitarianism and hopefully we'll, we'll uh, be able to understand this. So I've got three arguments here. The first argument, cupcakes are made with flour, therefore cats have fur. Now that's not a very good argument. And it's not a very good argument because the premise, cupcakes are made with flour, doesn't lead to the conclusion, cats have fur. Those two things don't link. And so this is like Hume's cat gap, right? Conclusions about cats must be proved by premises that also have cats in them. So if I was to change this argument and say mammals have fur, all mammals have fur, let's just say, I know they don't, all mammals have fur, cats are mammals, therefore cats have fur, that's a good argument, that's valid, that's sound. Because the conclusion, or rather the premises link to the conclusion. So the problem with this argument is that the premise doesn't lead to the conclusion. The conclusion talks about cats, but the premise doesn't. Now, this is all that the Isot gap is. What Hume is saying is conclusions that are linked by ought, conclusions that have moral sentiments in them, must also have moral premises. Let's look at another example. Premise one, cyanide is poisonous to humans. Two, you ought not poison innocent people. Now this, because we're sort of talking about the same thing, kind of seems like it works. But this creates, and this uh, falls victim to the Isort gap. Because the premise doesn't link to the conclusion. It sort of seems like it does, but it doesn't. Cyanide is poisonous to humans. That's a fact. So that's a factual claim. That's like a claim about cupcakes. Premise two. You ought not poison innocent people. Fine. You ought not poison innocent people. But that's a moral claim. And the moral claim doesn't link to the fact. Because a fact is like cupcakes and a moral claim is like cats. They're unrelated. And so it also isn't a working argument. That's the Isot gap. The conclusion, which is moral, must have moral premises as well. Facts can't alone prove moral statements. Now, let's apply this specifically to utilitarianism. Utilitarianism, Bentham specifically, argues that we are governed by the sovereign masters, pleasure and pain. That's a fact of the world. Well, it's at least what he thinks is a fact the world and his conclusion is that we ought to be governed by these things we ought to maximize general happiness but you see that he goes from an is statement he goes from facts about the world and he then makes the flaw in reasoning he commits the is ought gap and his conclusion is we ought to but again he makes a cupcakes premise and a cat's conclusion they're not related and so the whole of utilitarianism, the whole of the arguments, doesn't work. Because it goes from facts and then quickly goes to a conclusion that's moral. And you can't do that. It's like talking about cupcakes and then trying to prove something about cats. Talking about facts and then trying to prove moral claims. It doesn't work. And that's the flaw of, the biggest flaw, in my opinion, of utilitarianism. I hope this video has been helpful. Please give, a, give it a like, uh, share it uh, with your classmates if it's been helpful. Thank you for watching.